Take two. Take three. That'll do us just nicely. Okay, so here I have got myself a package. It arrived on Thursday, I think, but I've been waiting for some proper sunlight so this shot can actually look good. Yeah. So it's now Saturday morning and I'm finally getting to open this. If you don't know what it is, you'll find out soon. Really? What do you want? Just wants to say hi. Alright, so as I was saying, or wasn't saying, I don't really remember, it's been like probably about five minutes since you last saw me. There's been lots of interruptions anyway. I'm not making much sense quite clearly, but... As I'm unraveling this bubble wrap, you can see this. Now for all the freestylers out there, I'm sure you're well aware of the brand 4 Freestyle run by Tobias Bex from Norway and he's just launched three new balls specifically made for freestyle. One of which appears to be a bit slimy. Why does this feel slimy? Get that out of the shot. So Tobias was kind enough to send the grip ball to me to just, I guess, test and review and give some honest feedback to him on how it's done because that's how you improve on things. So first of all, first of all, haha. So first of all, if you're watching this Tobias, thank you so much. It means a lot that you respect my opinion and I just can't wait to test this. I really like the camo. Some people may not like it, it's not for all people, but it's just different and it's recognizable. Like you see someone using this, you know from a mile away that they're a freestyler. And I'm keen to see how this compares because this feels like a pretty high quality, just a really good ball. Whereas this, not so much. This is the old four freestyle grip ball. You can see it, four freestyle grip, and this is the new grip ball. So there's been a lot of big changes and I'm excited to see because honestly, this ball could have been a lot better. It felt a bit cheap, and I guess that's where he's gone with this. So let's pump it up. So this will be interesting, seeing how well it pumps, because sometimes balls pump quite egg-shaped at their first pump. So we're gonna use our <laughs> Mamba pump. Cheers, Mamba. Oh, this is looking nice. Ay, caramba. Oh! Wow, this feels a lot different to how I thought. I don't know what it is. They kind of, in hand, they feel the same weight, yet throwing it up and down, they feel the same weight. <laughs> okay, never mind. I don't know what happened there. Just this feels unusually light and bouncy, which is kind of cool. So at first glance, with it all pumped up, it's, it's really like, it's well put together. Like it's kind of, it's stitchless. There aren't many stitches. Well, there aren't any stitches. I don't really know how it's put together, but um, I mean, it looks cool. The panels have been printed fairly well. There's a few like inconsistencies, like a, a panel is overflowing from its like pentagon or hexagon, or it's not quite filling in the full space. But I mean, that's really nitpicking. The graphics really like clean and the colors work well. Everything, like, I mean, it just looks and feels like a professional baller. I'd walk into a sports store, I'd have a look at this, and I'd probably buy it. Like, I mean, this feels professional. And I can tell you straight away, without actually having tested it, the grip is good. Like, I mean, that's not coming out. That's, okay, that was a poor example. That's not coming out either, never mind. Basically, I'm glad you came out with a new one, especially one as nice as this. Now, these are all first impressions. My impressions may change over time because we don't know. After one session, this thing, the graphic may start like fading away or anything. We don't know how this is going to perform. This is a size five in case anyone was interested as well. But that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. I guess now I'm gonna test it. So my knees aren't feeling too great today, so I'll probably try hold off on lowers for today and just try fit in as much of the other stuff as I can. So for that, we're gonna go outside. So I'm all stretched up, ready to go. 
Hopefully I don't injure myself. Let's get into it. Maybe it's just the way we were. Maybe it's just the way I am. Maybe it's that feeling every time I got to hold your hand. I know that's cheesy, but I just want you to understand the memories are there even You see, this is a problem being that the ball is camouflage and it's in a bush. Like, oh God. So I just kind of, you, you saw what happened. Basically the ball is now sitting up at a NASA space station. So yeah, it's a few days later now and I've had some more time to test the ball and really nothing's changed from my first impression. I'll give you the overview. It's nothing special, but it's nothing bad. Is it worth the money? I'd say so. Like if you're looking to buy a grip ball, personally, I'd go with the ball that I made in this video. I think it's this corner. Just like click that and the ball I made in that video, that's my favorite ball today. But if you're looking for a ready-made, high quality, recognizable ball, then this is definitely a good one. And I'll leave a link to it in the description. I'm sorry I couldn't get too many actual freestyle clips in, just you know my current situation with my knees and stuff. I can't really freestyle too much, otherwise I won't be able to walk for the next few days. Sounds like an exaggeration, but it's not. I could barely go upstairs the day after the two clips you just saw. And if you want, I actually got Ollie Bowman. I got his thoughts on the ball if you're looking for something more extensive and I've basically copy and pasted that message into the description. So if you check the description right now, you'll see what he has to say about the ball. Now I'm not here to do like an extensive review. So basically I'll say it's a good ball. I honestly can't find anything wrong with it except for the fact that it's camouflage. I said before that it looks cool and I still stand by that. It looks awesome, but I've actually found it to be pretty impractical. You know how I lost it in the bush before? Like how it's camouflage in a bush, it's no good. Yeah, basically that's happened so many times and it's getting a bit annoying. So if you live in like a bushy foresty area, just watch out because it seriously does camouflage well. In fact, where is it now? Like, will I, like, see, where is it gone? Like, where is it? You see what I'm talking about? Like it's, it's completely camouflaged. That is what we call a joke in case you were taking that seriously. So that's pretty much it for this video. Final thing I want to say is something a lot of you, most of you don't know about me is I actually have another channel. Yeah, another channel besides this one. If you click the link in the description or maybe there'll be something popping up in the corner right now, you can go to that channel. I basically... I've been a bit slack on it recently, but I'm getting back into it. I do tutorials on how to edit videos and do all stuff. So if you wonder how I edit my videos, edit my photos on Instagram, ha, huh? shameless plug, then you'll want to go check out that channel. And if you could subscribe, that'd be awesome. I actually just had a video yesterday hit 1 million views. So that is amazing. I'm so stoked about that. So if you want to help me out or you want any sort of editing tutorials, then jump over to that channel, link in the description. And I hope to see you there. So if you did enjoy the video, please drop it a like and subscribe please do drop a like at the very least because i mean like just getting those few freestyle clips is a sacrifice because like i said stairs were a struggle the day after so i'm trying i know you want to see freestyle videos this is like the best i can do at the moment just gonna have to work with me but i'll catch you guys later peace that's much better